So um, basically, right, um, Solana, the question is, is it a security and will it get a TTF? So at the beginning of the episode, I said um, the CBOE, right, uh, they're the ones who basically uh, do uh, a lot of leveraged futures uh, contracts. So Bitcoin as a futures contract got that approved in, uh, I believe it was December of 2017. So basically the top of the market. Right. Uh, well, a lot of the reason for uh, getting that approved was so that they could short Bitcoin artificially uh, through the traditional market. And that, um, you know, some argue that that is what made the 2018 bear market really slow and boring because they just kept shorting Bitcoin, which is possible. Right. But uh, eventually that did lead to the Bitcoin ETF approval um, in uh, six years later in 2024. Uh, right. Um, now, obviously, that Bitcoin has had its approval already and Ethereum's had its spot uh, ETF approval, then getting a Solana uh, leveraged ETF or futures contracts um, should be not that difficult. But it seems like now the SEC is starting to put up roadblocks for this because uh, in some of their paperwork, the SEC has stated before that they believe Solana is a security. Right. And so um, basically for anybody who's like, what's a security? Um, so security is essentially uh, something that amounts to an investment contract that has um, the intention to make you money. Right. Or that has the intention to go up in price at some point in time. So it's not necessarily a promise of gains, but, uh, you know, uh, it's like, hey, you, you know, you're entering the casino. Right. Versus. Bitcoin and Ethereum, they are commodities, right? And so a commodity essentially is an asset or a, uh, a good, right? It is some sort of um, uh, thing, right, that you can trade, right? And so Bitcoin is code, right? The code uh, or language, uh, the communication of value is essentially uh, what the commodity is. And so its purpose is not to, it's not really built to make you money. It's built to be used, right, as a way to, transfer value um and so that goes into the commodity section uh, a lot better um but yeah the argument here is yeah does solana you know when it was sold um to the vcs and stuff um was it sold more like a security now the argument also is well ethereum right already has been labeled a non-security um so not necessarily a commodity yet but at least not an investment contract i think um polka dot was able to reclassify itself actually i forgot what the loophole was with that um but over a certain period of time if the co if the, you had changed the code and the purpose of uh the chain then essentially you can argue that you've turned your uh security into uh a non-security at least and so i don't know if solana has to go th uh, that far to get that but uh, polka dot was kind of already doing that in advance so uh not all the ETF people um, that have been in this have pulled out. Um, it's ARK Invest and I believe Vanek. I have to double check that. But um, those two, I know ARK Invest for sure has kept their filing in here. But really the only reason for the CBOE taking their filing out was that there uh, was some consideration from the SEC that Solana is a security. So they really wanted, they really just want, uh, the SEC to kind of go over, discuss what Solana is first before potentially refiling. But if I'm thinking about it from a political perspective, <clears throat> BlackRock had been interested in applying for a Solana ETF and then they decided, no, they're not going to, <clears throat> excuse me. So when they decided, no, they're not going to, the reason is why, who did they talk to? Who's friends with who, right? What's the, the relationship? Um, there and then once they decided hey we're not going to apply right did they start putting pressure on uh other traditional um, players like the cboe to basically be like hey you know pull out of the etf discussion for a bit here we'll we'll see the lay of the land first with ethereum and then you know we're not going to get too trigger happy right so that's what it seems like is happening there um but you know who really knows what's going on in the background so at the end of the day um the Ethereum and Bitcoin ETF are really like the spot ETF are really the ones that we wanted. Those are the, really the ones that we needed. Um, and that brings enough inflows into the crypto market and gets crypto sold to Wall Street enough 
that yeah a lot more money is going to come into the space solana is more like a nice to have and that don't necessarily need that to get approved in the bull market but again this does delay i would say at soonest the solana anyways was going to get its etf approved in december january so this kind of delays it towards potentially the middle of next year to the end of next year if it does end up getting labeled a non-security so that pushes it back so far that it lines up closer to a top in the bull market or a little bit before or a little bit after so it's not going to necessarily be the top signal but um i think it's less likely that we get like a, a bunch of etf approvals i think it's like we got bitcoin ethereum we scrape by maybe to get solana and then if that happens maybe at the very end of 25 you get like a handful more just boom 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 right maybe like that's kind of like best case scenario for these etfs at the moment so but again ethereum and the bitcoin etf are really the ones that we need for the inflows so not too big of a uh a deal here because not everybody's um coming out of the solana etf here but um still worth noting that that's uh, less a lot less likely to happen at this stage now simply because of that move but the de degeneracy still reigns supreme on solana <laughs> and uh we now have a Sol solana protocol teasing the market um for a game st stop style short squeeze of 53 of the 53 billion meme coin market so what does this mean basically um there is a test nut of this website which i'll show you called dumpy.fun right which is a, essentially uh allowing you to be able to short solana meme coins so dog with hat sorry it's gonna get shorted all to zero not not you know obviously joking there a bit but you're gonna have these volatility moves to the downside now potentially on the solana um uh meme coins here so you know like mm, i don't know it's, it's a little bit like okay whose lunch money are they trying to shake out here with the meme coins so uh this is still in test net but dumpy.fun um should come out i think they said here in september or oh, no maybe even august 27th if i remember correctly um yeah august 27th but as also squeeze.lol squeezy Dot lol sorry you gotta gotta be specific there but yeah squeezy dot lol is so that you can do short squeezes right so even more you know shaking out of um people here on the solana meme coin